Every winter in Ireland, Birdwatch Ireland runs an Irish Garden Bird Survey, which runs from the end of November until the end of February. People are asked to observe and record the number of birds that visit their back garden and send the totals to Birdwatch Ireland. I have participated in the survey for the last three winters, so I thought I'd give you an idea of the types of birds that come into my back garden and their frequency and numbers. The idea of the survey is that during the week you make a record of the number and types of birds that visit. At the end of the week you record the largest number of birds sighted that week. To record the sightings I've created a Google Sheet and make daily sighting records on one tab called RAW. On another tab I have the weekly totals for 22-23 and on a further tab I have a summaries tab which has uh, summary data for the last three winters. The last two tabs record the raw data from the two previous winters. I plan to keep using this file for future bird surveys to build a record over time. The two most common visitors to the garden this winter are the house sparrow and the goldfinch. It's probably not surprising, they're both fond of bird feeders and are both fairly aggressive at fending off other birds while feeding. Both birds visit in the highest numbers and are seen more frequently than other species and this has been consistent over the last three years. When it comes to birds that I see every week and sometimes every day, there's a bunch of species that are most common. Apart from the aforementioned sparrows and goldfinches, they are starlings. Uh, it's not surprising that starlings uh, are around in numbers because they have nested every year under the roof of our house, so they're more local than I am. They might be part of the roost that uh, collects at Raven Terrace uh, some nights, but equally they might be roosting somewhere on the university campus, which is just a street or two from my house. Another common species are blackbirds. Like the starlings and robins, blackbirds have nested in the garden for the last number of years and successfully produced young in the last few years while I've been doing the survey. Similarly, robins. Um, robins have nested in the back of the garden uh, every year since we bought the house 11 years ago. Since I spend most of my gardening time simply moving stuff from one part of the garden one year and then back again the next, the robins have learned to follow me around and, and uh, eat whatever I turn over on the soil. Uh, they do use the feeders as well. Another everyday species is the blue tit. There's a pair of them calling to the feeders every day. And similarly, a pair of grey tits uh, feed almost every day. Also, I have coal tits um, visiting uh, most days, and right now there's two of them at the feeder. Uh, they have a great knack of nipping in and out of bird seed without fuss when the goldfinches and sparrows are fighting among themselves and causing a racket. Chaffinches are also regular visitors, though in much lesser numbers than the goldfinches. They appear to be a bit more timid than the goldfinches, and this year their numbers are a little bit down on previous years. A new set of visitors this year are a pair of magpies. Um, a pair of magpies uh, raised two young last year uh, somewhere in the street, and now there's a pair of them uh, frequenting our garden. There is just one reason uh, why they're coming into the garden most days, and that's because I'm leaving out acorns, and the magpies absolutely love acorns. Given that I live between a hospital and a university, it's not surprising that feral pigeons are also very common visitors. I'm pretty sure that their numbers are actually higher than I um, show in my stats. Uh, some of the time I just don't bother even counting them, or even forget that I'm looking at them. I've had higher counts in previous years, but I think that was due to the abundance and type of bird feed that I left out in other years. I don't leave out so much grain this year, so there's less of them. I occasionally get wood pigeons uh, at the end of the garden, but I don't really have the tree cover for it, so they are seldom visitors. This winter I've had a couple of song thrushes uh, calling regularly to the garden. I've had far more sightings uh, this winter than the previous two winters. That might be simply down to how I observed them. Last year my office was in the attic, which has a skylight but not a direct view of the garden. And two years ago I was still commuting every day, so I probably just saw less of them. This year a male black cap has been a regular visitor to the garden. Um, he appears most days. Uh, two years ago a pair of black caps, uh, which were winter migrants, uh, used my garden as their base and spent most of the winter driving all the other birds out away from the feeders. Last winter in this one it looks like they picked another garden nearby as a base and just came to the garden as visitors. I've only glimpsed a female twice in December and not since. 
uh, the footage you see now is from a previous year. Um, they're winter migrants, and my first sighting of a male this winter was the 2nd of December. Last winter, I, the first one I saw was a female on the 8th of December, and the previous winter, I first saw one in the first week of January. So they, they tend to arrive late. Finally, there's been wrens breeding in and around the garden since we moved in uh, 11 years ago. They can be sometimes hard to spot, and I usually see them more often when they're working the gutters of the um, studio at the back of the house than on the ground. There's some birds that I see less frequently, and that again might be just because they spend less time at the feeders, and I just I'm not seeing them. One species is the lesser red pole. There's a pair of them that um, visit occasionally uh, to the feeders and they're well able to bully the goldfinches away from them and uh, hold their own at the feeders. Also a pair of dunnocks are regular visitors. Since they tend to hop around in the undergrowth, I'm probably missing them most of the time. I do occasionally have a gold crest that uh, calls to the garden. They're very small, so they're easy to miss and they move quite quickly. Um, I never see more than one at a time. I suspect that they're visiting more often than I'm observing them. Similarly with the sparrowhawk, I'm pretty sure I miss most of the sparrowhawk visits to the garden. When they do sweep through, um, it's only for a few seconds. Every time I see one, I just happen to glance up or out at that moment. Um, I've only observed a sparrowhawk make one kill in all its forays into the garden. It's a pity it couldn't make more inroads into the pigeon population that I have. Recently I've noticed male bullfinches call to the garden. When they do visit they tend to hide in the thicket of brambles or briars at the end of the garden. They're probably there more often than I realise and even though the male bullfinch has quite vivid plumage they're hard to spot among the leaves. Finally there's a flock of long-tailed tits that occasionally um, arrive in the garden. Usually they don't stay long, they just have a quick flit among the branches of trees looking for insects. Though I have noticed a couple of times they've stopped at one of the feeders to, to feed. I hardly ever see green finches in the garden. I've only recorded sightings twice this year and it's been much the same in previous years. They're just not a common visitor to my garden. Until last week I hadn't sighted siskins at all this year even though there were frequent call alerts to the feeders in previous years. By pure coincidence, as I was finalising the video footage uh, for this video, uh, one of them flew into the garden and began feeding at a feeder. I subsequently discovered that one had also visited the pond a couple of weeks earlier when looking back through uh, old video footage. Nevertheless, they're a lot less, they're a lot more scarce this year than they have been um, in previous years, at least in my garden. It was a similar case with a, the linnet. Um, I thought I had no linnet visitors, but looking back to some video footage, I realized that uh, linnets have been calling occasionally to the garden. A somewhat surprising absentee is the pied wagtail. They're a common enough bird um, in neighboring gardens and in the street and generally around Galway, but they rarely call uh, into my garden. Um, I'm much more likely to see a grey wagtail now that the pond is uh, in place. Earlier in the year, a uh, common jay called into the garden occasionally. Uh, he was a big fan of the peanuts I was leaving out, but I haven't seen one since the survey began, even though I've been leaving out acorns for the last two months purposely to attract it. I don't really have the tree cover for jays to feel comfortable. Overall, my number of sightings are up on last year, but I'm pretty sure that's due to the location of my office, which means I am just making more observations than previous years. With the exception of the siskins, the frequency and number of birds are proportionately the same as previous years. A smaller number of goldfinches at the feeders this year, but I think that's due to the fact that I've left out much less niger seed and sunflower seeds than previous years. When the bird survey finishes at the end of February, I'll post a link in the video description um, to the Google Sheet file that I've used with the final totals so you can see it for yourselves. And feel free to reuse the format of the tabs and sheets for your own use if you find it useful. Please also leave any comments and questions you might have in, in the comments below the video. Thanks.